we'll come through and inoculate these plots f for northern, and then we inoculate them for the Diplodia ear mold after that. We can actually start the disease screening at the very early stages of the breeding process so that we can start eliminating inferior lines um, from the very first stages of testing. So before a line has even been yield tested, we can get an idea of what its disease tolerance is and then either decide if we want to keep it or eliminate it from the breeding programs. In the past, we would try to screen as much as we could by, by placing every genetics we were testing for northern leaf blight, but that's impossible. And then you don't get the disease every year in your disease nursery. Sure. If we take a, a good subset, we can build a, not, a really pr predictive genetic model there and we can predict every year, every gotcha. genetics every, all the time. So that's what we're doing here. And this is just one disease, northern leaf blight. We're doing the same thing for gray leaf spot, Goss's wilt, southern um, rust, southern leaf blight, et cetera. We can do all those, piece, all those key traits that, that lead to you know, sustainability.